Sure. We make big yellow iron. And we're pretty good at it. And although you might not be in the market for a giant piece of earth-moving equipment, you may want to consider what this 95-year-old company has to say about technology. Why? Because of mining. Nearly every product you own, regardless of who makes it or what it does, would not exist as you know it without mining. And in the mining industry, CAT is the leading provider of big yellow mining machines and innovative technology, like autonomy. Caterpillar has been in the autonomy business for more than 30 years, and the results we've achieved aren't promises or forecasts. Our results are fleets of real machines doing real work on real mine sites all over the world. Really, no one is behind the wheel of CAT autonomous haul trucks even when they're operating in the harshest environments on Earth. Plus, these trucks are big. The one you're looking at here is the CAT 797F autonomous haul truck. It's as large as a two and a half story, 3,000 square foot house, and weighs 284.6 tons, empty. When it's fully loaded, the CAT 797F clocks in at an impressive 687 and one half ton, which is roughly the same weight as 15 standard 189 seat passenger planes. Since our autonomous mining trucks began operating commercially, they have now moved enough rock and earth to build a four lane dirt highway longer than the earth is round. That highway though, would be six feet tall and it's still growing. CAT autonomous trucks have now successfully moved 4.91 trillion pounds of material. That's right, with a T. That's enough to build the Hoover Dam 503 times. So why does Caterpillar make autonomous vehicles? Because autonomy makes a big impact for customers who use it. It makes their mining operations more efficient. It cuts costs. It boosts productivity and profitability. But here's the stat our customers appreciate the most. CAT autonomous trucks have done all of that while working 24-7 on actual operating mine sites without a single lost time incident. Our technology leadership goes beyond autonomous trucks though. We provide solutions that automate drills, underground loaders, and even trains. And the list is growing all the time. We also provide advanced technology that helps mining companies better manage, deploy, maintain, and adapt their fleets of mobile equipment. And many of these help keep people safe by tracking people when they're deep underground, using cameras and radar to let machines know when another vehicle is nearby, and alerting machine operators if they start falling asleep. There are a lot of reasons why Caterpillar has become a successful innovator. We have a global team of talented software developers and researchers, computer engineers, and data analysts. Every day they are making discoveries and working on new groundbreaking technologies and they're fully supported by our continued investment in research and development, which is paid off with a growing portfolio of patents and intellectual properties. We also create partnerships with other best-in-class technology providers who add to our strengths and help us get our tech into the market more quickly. But we could always use more. More partners, more people filling opportunities in Caterpillar locations all over the world, and more potential solutions for our customers and everyone else. The advancements we have made in mining are already being used in other industries, but we are committed to remaining at the forefront and discovering so much more. And that, for us, is a promise that carries a lot of weight. Hi, my name is Bill Deers, Worldwide Sales and Market Manager at Caterpillar, representing the Cat Mindstar products. Before watching that video, you may have wondered why an equipment manufacturer like Caterpillar is participating in CES. And now you know. It's because we do so much more than make machines. We also innovate, develop, build, and deliver game-changing technologies, just like the other technology leaders participating in this show. Denise Johnson, our group president of the Caterpillar Resources Industry Organization, sat down for a Q&A session to give you a little more insight into our 30 plus year history in the mining technology business and to share some success stories of real cat mining technologies at work around the world. Hello, I'm Mary Vick and on behalf of Caterpillar, I'd like to welcome all the media to the Consumer Electronics Show. Sorry that we can't be together in Las Vegas as planned, but I'm so glad we can get together virtually. 
With me today is a very special guest, Denise Johnson, Group President of Resource Industries for Caterpillar. Denise leads a large and expansive team focused on our customers in the mining, large construction, quarrying aggregates, material handling, and waste industries. Her team of technology experts are focused on asset health, fleet management, and autonomous haulage capabilities, just to name a few. Denise, thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Mary. It's great to be here today. Denise, let me first start with maybe the most obvious question. Why would a heavy equipment manufacturer like Caterpillar be interested in attending the Consumer Electronics Show? Well, Mary, actually, that's exactly the point. Because many people think that manufacturing heavy equipment is all that we do. And certainly we're proud of our reputation for building some of the biggest, most productive machines in the world. But the technology that goes along with those machines is built by Caterpillar too. CES is a great opportunity for us to connect with new business partners that are making breakthroughs in areas like autonomous vehicles and underground tracking systems. When we combined our collective efforts, we're able to more quickly advance the technology offerings that we have for our customers. It's also an opportunity for us to find more talented people to join our team. Caterpillar is a great place to work, and we're continuing to make investments in R&D and experiencing a lot of growth in technology. We want the best and the brightest to come work with us. We think that a lot of them are listening right now. Denise, you mentioned that some people may think of Caterpillar as a heavy equipment manufacturer, and you just celebrated 95 years. Congratulations to the entire team. Can you talk about why technology is so important to your customers and how they're even driving some of that technology development? The simple answer is because it's what our customers need. We all do what we can to make our machines productive and safe but technology and autonomy are game changers that take that productivity and safety to unprecedented levels. Number one, of course, is safety. Incorporating technology into machines and operating environment is the most important thing that we can do to keep people safe. We can give machine operators better visibility to what's around them. We can identify when they're fatigued. Second, I would say, is that our technology is helping our customers get better outcomes from the work that they do. They're already working really hard to squeeze every ounce of productivity from their operations. So technology can help make every aspect of their operations more efficient and productive. They can monitor machines and people, manage their performance, and in many ways, automate the work, which delivers the greatest gains in efficiency. Denise, we talked about Caterpillar being new to the Consumer Electronics Show, but you're not new to innovation and technology development. Can you talk about some of the successes that you've seen over the years with your customers and share some of those with us now? You know, while the adoption of technology and automation has certainly exploded in the last decade or so, our technology journey actually started about 40 years ago. We were one of the early adopters of GPS back when there were very few satellites in the sky. So we've been at this a long time and we're, we've been looking for ways that we can use new ideas and new technologies to help our customers. We began the development of our autonomous vehicles back in the 1980s too. By the early 1990s, we had autonomous trucks running at a quarry in Texas. And we've continued to grow and much more quickly. Our first official command for hauling site began operating just seven years ago. And today we have more than 350 trucks operating 24 seven on three continents. We have a single largest fleet of autonomous trucks running in the world. And they're setting records not only in productivity, but in safety as well. CAT autonomous trucks have traveled nearly 87 million kilometers without a single lost injury. I think that's really impressive. We have success stories across our entire portfolio of MindStar products. Our detect driver safety systems helped one mine site uncover a magnitude of operator fatigue and reduced it by 94% in just 90 days. Our MindStar health offerings make it possible for machines to tell us when there's a problem and then make a recommendation for how to fix it and when. Our newest technology solution is called MindStar Edge. It's already delivering results. Edge is cloud-based, so solutions are easy to deploy and update and require less infrastructure. With access to real-time data that is 97% accurate, 
We're seeing customers who have achieved a return on their investment in just three months. Denise, last but certainly not least, let's go behind the scenes and talk about the people developing these technologies and solutions for our customers. Well, there's no question that the success that we've had in the technology space over the last four decades has been because of the people on our team. Uh, we employ hundreds of deep experts like talented software developers and researchers and computer engineers and data analysts who are at the top of their fields. You know, once a customer buys our technology products, they work with a team of specialists and experts who have years of experience in implementing the solutions and making sure that they know how to get the maximum value from them. On our minds, we've implemented autonomous trucks where we've dedicated CAD employees who work on site supporting the autonomous operation. We also provide ongoing technical support along with our Caterpillar dealers. Denise, as we wrap up, any final comments you'd like to share? Well, thank you, Mary. In closing, I want you to see Caterpillar in a different light. We're not changing who we are, but we certainly are a different company today than we were just a few years ago. We have great people doing amazing things, and we're going to continue to invest in that work because it's important. It's good for our customers, and really, it's about building a better world. There's so much left to discover, and we're excited to be at the forefront. Thank you. And now that you've heard about the CAT technologies and what they do, it's time to see them in action. This video takes us to the Canadian oil sands, a large deposit of crude oil that's located in a harsh, remote environment located hours north of civilization. The CAT Autonomous Haulage Solution, called Command for Hauling, has been proven on sites for almost a decade. But in this video, you'll see the first application of command in these challenging conditions and hear from the actual users how this solution is having a positive impact on the site's productivity. Curl is the first 797 autonomous site in the world, and it's also the first site with an oil sands application. The biggest challenge that we face up here is probably just the remoteness of our site. Closest town's about an hour and a half away. It's a bit of a strange location because no one lives here. We've got the challenges of snow, which traction related challenges come up with that. And then we also have the challenges of soft ground conditions. The biggest challenges are just how quickly the weather can change here. Anything from the snow to rain, super soft underfoot conditions. And our autonomous trucks, they can handle everything that we throw at them. So in the early days, this was really more of a tabletop exercise. You know, how do we make curl safer and more profitable? We started discussing the idea with uh, Caterpillar, who are our partners. 2016, we started with a data truck. A year later, we were operating two trucks in kind of a sandbox uh, testing environment. And then a year afterward, in uh, late 2018, we started moving productive material 24-7. And now, we're hauling material day and night we're more productive in the staffed operation. The challenges we experienced here were unknown when we came up to do the agreement. We didn't know how the product was going to respond, didn't know what the environmental conditions were going to be. Then secondly, how the technology was, was going to perform in the field with the unique environmental conditions that we're facing. We've done significant testing, validation, further development, and we're in a position now where we're very comfortable. It's a combination of a lot of different things. Uh, so we have our MindStar suite of software, and that includes our fleet, which is our dispatch system, as well as Terrain, which is our loading and grading system. And then there's the command system, which allows the trucks to haul autonomously. And you need to have everything working properly in order to get the full value out of your autonomous mind. Initial expectation in the early days was just making sure we can safely deploy autonomy at our site and can we gain the confidence of our workforce. Imperial from day one has said no truck drivers are losing their job. We're going to redeploy people, we're going to retrain people and through that we're going to ensure that our workforce is engaged in this project. For anybody who's been in mining for so long, you get used to doing certain things a certain way. So I was very skeptical at the beginning. Very new technology. No one on the team actually had a lot of background in the actual AHS side of things. Caterpillar really impressed me over with the quality of people they actually brought in from the different areas of the company, put them all together, right from their management right to the people on the ground. Real impressive.
Yeah, we definitely had to manage expectations from the beginning of the project. Everyone knew it was going to be a development project and that we were going to be productive for a long time. So just being transparent in what we're doing and why we're doing it was very important for us to proceed and for IOL to be able to be confident in us and provide us with the areas and resources that we needed in order to get the job done. When we went to two trucks, we became the largest 797 autonomous site in the world. Shortly after that, we hauled the first load autonomously. So that was another big milestone, the first productive tons by uh, autonomous 797. And then we got the shovel and we were able to implement our terrain system on the shovel, which allows it to interact with the autonomous trucks. And we did the first full production cycle, full first load with an autonomous 797. Right now we're hauling autonomously with one CAT 7495 rope shovel and we usually have about six AHS trucks in operation just because of the haul that we have that's all that the shovel can really take. Um, so it's a pretty large scale operation and converting the entire operation is going to be a huge challenge but you know that's why we're here is to tackle that challenge and provide support for IOL through this journey. We had to leverage the expertise of Caterpillar and Finnehan, the Imperial side and we had to come together as one team. I think that's why we're successful. You can assemble the world's smartest people together and they won't be able to accomplish what we have if they're not working as one team. We have a one family culture. It's where we look out for each other, we look out for a brother, we look out for a sister, and safety is first and foremost in our way we do business. We've broken down the barriers between the different companies. It doesn't matter if you're an Imperial person or a Caterpillar person or a Finning person. You have the right to speak up, you have the right to call out things that are not safe, you have the right to, frankly, be emboldened to come up with new ideas, new ways of doing things. And I think that's what has made us successful, is that one team approach. The thing that may surprise a lot of newcomers to come out for hauling is, first and foremost, safety, removing the hazards from the autonomous operating zone. And secondly, far more productive. It is going to provide more hours on your equipment by not stopping for lunch breaks, rest breaks and so forth. And it's actually going to put more tons in the crusher at the end of the day. So the levels of protection in the, with the autonomous system, kind of the two plus one rule. So we have, always have two layers of protection plus the A-stop that, that I have right here. This ensures that no matter what, you always have control of the, the trucks and you can always stop them. We pointed out to them when they came up here to look at, you know, th this is your biggest challenge. This is going to be one of your most important things you need to figure out. You wouldn't be able to run these trucks at all because they go in the exact same spot every time and you would do probably 10 loads and the truck would be stuck. Well, Caterpillar figured it out. Our autonomous trucks can adapt to all these situations. So in cases where there's a ton of fog, blizzards out, uh, the LiDAR can pick up uh, equipment in the distance. And also all of our equipment is site aware. So in these cases, the trucks always know where everything is and it's really a lot safer as a result of that. Our pickup trucks run mine starting on a day-to-day -day basis and it's just been great because the equipment always knows where every other piece is so it's flawlessly executed throughout that way but mine in general it's just been a great program that we have continued to develop with CAT and utilize as best as possible. So the controller's job with Mindstar is basically dispatching the trucks. They can stop the trucks, get them going again, and realistically, once everything is going smoothly, quite often that it requires minimal input from them. But when things do get a little hairy, they're the ones that can move the trucks around, getting around objects, and control the trucks other ways. We've created software solutions in order to tackle that, and it's something that you have to deal with in the manned environment, and you have to deal in the autonomous environment. But with good controls, and good input from the field operators are we able to actually control the trucks to not go into the worst areas. And we know 100% for sure that if we have an exclusion zone down, they're not gonna go into those soft areas. And that's a game changer, a complete game changer. If we didn't have that piece of technology, this wouldn't work in the oil sands. So the biggest thing about being a part of the Global Mindstar team is that everything, every day is new challenges. Even from the way this project has gone from last year to now, you really see the value that you put in when things get more productive, KPIs increase, and the mine runs better as a whole. From a safety side, things have been going really well due to the simple fact we've had no incidents due to autonomy at our site. The biggest feedback that I hear from the operators is not about the productivity, not about certain features, but really how safe they feel 
amongst the trucks compared to the staff world. Every time that they have to drive through the staff world, they're a little bit more hesitant, knowing that the staff trucks are more unpredictable. They don't know what they'll be doing, where they'll be going. They don't know if that turn signal action means the truck will be turning or not. Whereas in the autonomous world, the operators know that which path the truck will be taking. They know that the truck will stop because of the site awareness, because of the perception system. And they feel more at ease in the autonomous world compared to the staff world. The biggest benefit, I think, would be the shift change as well as fly days. You get to avoid the downtime that your trucks are sitting there while you switch out operators. So as long as your shovel's running, your autonomous trucks can be running 24-7. So it can build up to quite a bit of difference between the man versus autonomous. So that's kind of like the background benefit that a lot of people don't see is that these trucks are consistently coming at certain increments to the shovel, so that they're not all coming at once and same as the, as the dump as well. Seeing the trucks running on their own and knowing that they're controlled elsewhere and for the most part they're just controlling themselves and driving safely, productively. Getting the operator out of the cab and removing them from the machine, if there was an incident with a tire failure or a serious uh, incident, it removes them from the machine and creates a safer environment for the operator. The relationship we have with Imperial Oil is by far the best I've ever been involved with. They are very transparent, very open, they certainly set the bar very high and it's what we strive to achieve in terms of being able to deliver a product and it's a very open, transparent process and relationship. In this day and age in Canada to get full regulatory approval to proceed with a project is a, a pretty big achievement. It's been a, a good win for us on our team. I think it works just because we brought everyone together every day and I don't really have any closed doors. My desk is right there. And the ILL people are sitting right here. We've got cat desk over here. Um, like we work together every day for 10 days straight for 12 hours. We know each other personally and we're all kind of working towards the same thing. Working for CAT um, on this project and we're working with the dealer hand in hand, working with the customer hand in hand, and everything just blends in together. Quite often you don't even realize you're working with different teams because uh, everyone just is part of the one team, the one family here. Very early on, I didn't think that uh, this level of cohesion could be possible in such a diverse team. We're talking about operations and engineering and accounting folks, then we're talking about three different companies, you know, different cultures. but. I'm most proud of the, the team that we have up here at site. They've done an excellent job. We're all like a family and you know at, at Curl we say that, one family, and I think this team truly represents it and it's been awesome to work with uh, everyone here. Imperial Oil, Finning Canada, and Caterpillar. Together, we are mining better.